this is a pretty extraordinary interview by the Education Secretary, Michael Gove, simply because it will be used by opponents uh, of the Conservative Party to validate that argument that's been made time and time again, that large parts of that government are unrepresentative and thus out of touch. Now, the argument that Michael Gove was trying to make throughout the interview uh, was that the reason David Cameron had chosen uh, Old Etonians, so many of them to be advisers, is simply because the state education system had failed in the past. Now, he would argue that is something he's desperately trying to turn around. But you're right, it's the use of those quite emotive words such as ridiculous to describe particularly the four old Etonians uh, that serve under David Cameron, who of course himself is an old Etonian, that will be used as an open goal by the Labour Party. This is what Michael Gove has said in tomorrow's FT weekend. He says it doesn't make me feel personally uncomfortable because I like each of the individuals concerned but it's ridiculous. I don't know where you can find some such similar situation in the developed economy. Uh, now, this use of the word Old Etonians has been pretty toxic, and it's been used uh, in some regards, or been seen, uh, as an attack maybe on the another Old Etonian, the uh, Mayor of London, Boris Johnson. There have been reports this week that Michael Gove was being briefed against by Boris's office after he suggested that George Osborne would make a much better leader of the Conservative Party than Boris Johnson. But considering that Michael Gove and George Osborne also went to private school, I think ultimately this story will simply do damage to the Conservative Party as a whole.